super middleweight contender, former world title challenger Andre Durrell man, 10 uh, hard rounds of sparring, then on the, you know, little work with Rodney Chrysler and Floyd Sr. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling pretty good. Came in a little heavy, you know, um, it was a slumpy Sunday, man, but uh, mm. came in, shook out, got 10 good rounds in today, two different sparring partners, mid work, um, ball work. It was, a good, it was a good Monday, but it gets better and better as we progress in the week. So I'm looking pretty good, man. I'm, looking, I'm, I'm proud of myself. When you're in the ring sparring, what things are you working on? What are you looking to kind of accomplish in there? Just being a lot sharper, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm done telegraphing. You know, I'm done forcing it. You know, I, I want to be more of a pure boxer. And when it's time to brawl, I'll have that as well. You know, so slight inside work, but we all know I'm an outside boxer. I'm just looking to counter more, utilize the ring more, instead of moving so much. I really want to make them pay when they miss. So, you know, I'm just sharpening up my skills and and trying to give a more crowd pleasing performance. So, okay. from not right now, it's looking pretty successful, and I think it's gonna carry on into the fight. You got some weeks under you training with Floyd Mayweather Sr. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it like working with him? It's been tough in the beginning. You know, he has to find me, and I have to find him. You know, but uh, we're, we're, we're sinking, you know, and um, it's coming along pretty good, man. He's a, he's a good trainer. He's a great trainer. And, um, you know, the work is none, nothing less than perfect, man, so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And today, uh, Monday, January 7th, there's a little rumor going around gyms. Maybe Robert Guerrero might fight Sal Alvarez. Mm -hmm. uh, if a fight like that happens, what do you? how do you break that one down? Um, but looking at Guerrero's last performance with Roberto, you know, he's he's big enough, you know, um, he, he's a solid, he could be a solid, I don't know what weight they're looking to fight at, if it's 47, then I think that'd be a great weight, you know, because he started off small and he came to fight Berto, but he's naturally big, you can tell, he's a solid guy, um, but um, he, he just, I, I believe he'll have to sharpen up, because Sal Alvarez is a young bull, you know, so, and he can fight, man, so, if, if he fights the right fight, then I can see it going the, the distance with Sal winning still. But if he fights the wrong one, I can see Sal, Sal getting him out of there pretty fast. And what do you think of Floyd Mayweather? Are you, if, are you going to be watching with anticipation of his next fight? I know you know him well. I'm always, I'm always looking forward to his fights, man, because you, you learn a lot from a fighter like Floyd. You know, um, see a lot of fighters trying to be him now, and it's just not the way to go. Be yourself above all, you know. But, um, man, you're, you're always looking forward to his, to, to his fights, man. Everyone is. Every fighter is. You know, he's, he's going to be, he's a future legend, man. He's a one hell of a fighter, so, you know, I'm always looking forward to his performances, man. I know he's going to do great.